I don't have this. <laughs> what in the Grinch, miss? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> What y'all know about dumplings? I know they're delicious. The Love best. Them. I know how to eat them and oh, cook yeah. them. There's, I mean, there's a lot of dumplings out there though. Like what kind of dumplings are we talking about? We are going to see if you can guess the country from the dumpling. Oh no, oh, this is gonna be bad. Wow, this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> Plus, we've got a super cute prize for oh. the winner. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. How are you gonna show me these things and and I'm never gonna win them? <laughs> Ooh, wow. These look like pig anus. What? <laughs> these little ear dumplings are traditionally served either in a soup, especially at Christmas, or as a side dish with a meal. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like an ear. Okay. We um, should pierce it. Kind of looks like like Van Gogh. Ooh, it's really good. Red, it, it thinking, colors it's it. giving me beet. Michael Jackson. Beat it. Just beat it. <laughs> the beat is good. I'm pleasantly surprised by the soup. I know, like, it's like really actually... good. Have you Let's ever heard cool. of borscht? Face. Borscht? Borscht. So that rings a bell. Where's that from though? That's a new word for me. Tinola. It doesn't It doesn't taste like the typical dumplings I've ever had. It, it's kind of like a pasta. Is Italy a country? You can write one. If you guess one of the three, you will get the point right. One of the three. Yeah. I think I have an idea. I have no clue. Three, <laughs> two, one. Ukraine. Poland. Germany, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure I got it completely wrong. Why do you think Poland? Uh, I was thinking Poland too. The sh sound, although that may, that may reveal itself to be culturally ignorant in five seconds. Today I'm making Polish ushka. <laughs> Polish? Poland? Polish? How do I get that right? <laughs> it's literally mushroom? I love mushrooms! Wait, that's not me? Get him next yeah, time. it looks like wants, wontons. Okay, I was not right. I'm gonna tell you, Ukraine is also one of the countries. <gasps> Uska or vushka are often filled with flavorsome wild forest mushrooms and minced meat, and they're a favorite in Poland, Belarus, and Ukraine. Oh, okay. Ooh. Very different. This okay. looks fascinating. These clear looking chewy tapioca dumplings are often filled with shrimp and pork belly and are a favorite of this country. That smells completely different. Different. Okay, I already know what I'm gonna guess. Mmm! Oh, it's a little spicy. Mmm. This tastes like I've had it before. This dish originated in an ancient imperial city. Hmm. This is feeling distinctly Asian, so ancient Asian imperial city. They just know how to do it right. So you know who this is? <laughs> no, but whoever it is, they know how to do it right. Ready? Oh my god, if you get it right, Austin, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. I got Vietnam. She goes, this is definitely wrong. Me over here who already wrote to <laughs> the <laughs> Which is a Vietnamese dish. Vietnam! Bro! You're right. Oh no! Did I guess it? I guessed it right. Oh, this is extra yummy to watch being made. I know, this is awesome. Gotta love the tucking, man. Bro, those look so good. They do. Oh, this looks interesting. This is a dumpling? So these cone-shaped deep fried dumplings are molded to resemble a drumstick. Oh, okay, that's cute. I've never had a fried dumpling before. Oh, right. that's a weight to it, actually. <gasps> oh, is this like a potato? E. Oh, that looks good. I, I don't, it's I'm so sure. flavorful. I feel like I'm transported to flavor town. <laughs> I have this. <laughs> well, that's like super condensed too. Like yeah. This. That's big yummy. I'm getting like there in the world. So like the world's here. Wow, this one's gonna be tough. Where would this be from? I don't know. I don't know. Nicole, can you give me a hint? Give me a hint. My heart said non-applicable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I got it wrong. I'm that's so it, sorry. It. I'm gonna go with this. This is a life lesson for me right here. Like, go home and read a book about maps. You were right? What? Brazil? Okay, no, so we're wrong. Freaking Brazil! Are you kidding? 
I'm so sorry, Brazil. Yeah. Your food is so good. Wow. Bro, That's that so is so off. good. Yeah. I mean, I just don't know much about like Africa's food. <laughs> Where is Brazil? Oh. Is it in Africa? South America. <laughs> Oh, I know this one. So the name for these dumplings also means wedding gown based on the shape of the pleats that are added in. Have you ever seen anything like this before? I yes. Not. I saw this, you put it down in front of me and I'm like, This is Hargau. What? I already know where this is. It's so good. <laughs> this is what I order at like all so I have to get this my right. areas that I order. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> it's so good. What the heck? I go on Sundays, and they go around. Nope, you're gonna give them away. Never mind. I think I have a guest already. Korean restaurants. We have a lot of great Japanese restaurants. We got a lot of Chinese restaurants. But I don't know which one it is. If I get this wrong, please don't hate me. I'll make it up to you guys. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my God, I got it wrong, did I? <laughs> the Chinese. <laughs> I love the country Chinese. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. my God! Yes, it is. Yes. yes. That was too good. Hey. God damn it. Oh, love Hakka. My favorite Hargao is like the best. Ginger prawns. That was prawns. Bro, it's so good. It's good. It's really yummy. Mhm. Mm love this stuff. And then you flatten it. The little thin. What the. Heck, am I looking at now? Oh, I know this one. God damn! It. I know this one so much because I go there a lot. Often eaten during long and dark winters, these blood and potato dumplings are nutritious and filling. Blood from what? <laughs> uh, often from reindeer. Oh my god! I was joking. <laughs> what in the Grinch miss? That's something I've never seen before, actually. <laughs> but I still feel like I know where it's what? from. I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Where would this be from? That is good. It tastes breakfasty. <laughs> it what? is oft served with butter and jam. If you can tell where the jam's from, that actually might help I know you a little from. bit too. Well, this one's gonna be a hard one. Lingonberries? I have a jar at home. <laughs> is that what the it heck is? is a lingonberry? I've never even heard of that before. Ikea, man. Reindeer blood. Winters. I just tried a reindeer blood dumpling. That is a flex. Don't laugh! <laughs> Sweden? Greenland. Boom. No one can say I'm wrong. I'm just thinking of like where Frozen is set. Like Norway, Sweden and type area. I go to Ikea a lot. I always have their lingonberry sauce and I drench my meatball in that stuff. Sweden, yay! Yes, that's what's up! On the board again! It's a lot of blood. I <laughs> suck. Let's go. <laughs> I've eaten like coagulated blood, so like that blood is not an issue for me. Looks like chunky. Looks like a brain right now. I feel like blood is not bad. It's just the idea of blood. Ooh, good. this looks delicious. Is this a dessert? This looks like a deconstructed apple pie. These warm cinnamon dumplings smell incredible, and the name literally means sauce dumplings. It kind of looks like a rice pudding. There isn't blood in this, is there? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say anything. Okay. This is a guilty pleasure food for sure. It's like a dessert dumpling. Mm -hmm. Here it's it like is. a dumpling churro. Yeah. It, it, I think it's kind of like those monkey balls. The roots of this dish are thought to have originated in Persia, but were brought to this country by the Dutch East India Company in 1652. That's a long time ago. Where did the Dutch East India Company travel? All I know is that this was really good. <laughs> they went to Deutschland a lot, obviously. But did they go to Africa? You know what? I have no faith in my brain right now. I'm not going to go on pondering for hours again, so I'm just going to write down something. Where did the Dutch go that they were not wanted at the time? You know, it's funny. Everywhere? You know, no more non-applicables. Just look, just, just educated, quote unquote, guess. <laughs> Singapore. I don't know. Do you know why? Because it's schnitzel and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the biggest and most obvious, like, white 
somewhat Dutch colony. Mmm, South okay. Africa. Bro. Honestly, that makes sense because yes. it's so good. <laughs> hey, oh, wow. Let's... Oh. You know what? I'm not mad at you for this one. I'll take it. Well, sin I love cinnamon sugar on everything like pretzels. Okay, you know what? I also thought, oh, this is low-key kind of like foo-foo, but where's that from? But I literally went the whole complete different direction. I would've I would have never guessed that honestly. That they make dumplings in South Africa. That sounds so like, whoa, like dumplings are pretty like worldwide. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, oh my gosh, fur. this is new? These fruit-filled dumplings are boiled and then garnished with sweet crumbles for a dessert delight mm. like no other. So it's poppy seeds, powdered sugar, and then this one's like really dense. And it could be either really- <gasps> I don't know what kind of <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's fruity. Yeah, that's the, fruit, the fruit could do all the work, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's so tart, it could do all the work mm -hmm. itself, the flavor. The name of this dish is Shavistko Vekneleki. Chevis Kovic Neleki. That does sound very German. The sh the chef. Yuck. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. German? I don't know, that was my last guess. Might as well go for it again. Who knows? Maybe my like my future self was trying to help me, but he didn't get the calculations right. <laughs> <laughs> Yugoslavia. Ready? We got the G's. Czech. The Czech Republic? Oh, it's Czech. Oh. Check. Ah. Oh, Check. She put a lot of poppy that seeds. Is... Ooh, that's a lot of poppy seeds. I Yums. love that. Oh, yeah, it did explode yeah. on me. It exploded on me. I love this woman. I have no idea why. Well, Ed, with four points, you're our big winner today. Woo, I finally won something. Oh, look at this cute little basket. And look at the cute little piggies. Oink, 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 <laughs> oink, oink. They're little pork dumplings. I so... liked trying everything. I love dumplings. They're like one of my favorite foods. They, they got chased by the big bad wolf into their last home, which is a steam. Oh, I just steam, realized that's so steam lo basket. That's dope as hell. <laughs> Try everything. There are some dumplings that I will definitely want to eat and probably try to make myself. Oh. I respect the winner. I respect the dub. Finally. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of People vs. Food. How many of these dumplings did you know? Also tell us, what other foods should we try next time? As always, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye. Woo! Bye! Bye, Bye. Bye guys. Oink, oink. Nice. <laughs> nice.